गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्यूटी स्पीकर सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट दिस मेजर वेन वी टॉक इन दिस हाउस और आउटसाइड we always talk in terms of the farmers it is a fact that our country is predominantly a farming country 80% of our population is dependent on agriculture therefore even in the sphere of industries particularly those which are agro based a scientific approach is required up till now it appears that the trend of thinking for industries is mostly in favor of those which are not agro based in fact most of our industries in india whether they are sugar textile or jute are agro based industries but particularly with regard to sugar industry you would appreciate that majority of the farmers whether they are in the north or in the east or the south or in some parts of the west or even in central india find that sugarcane growing is becoming more and more unprofitable it is true that in some of the states where there is canal irrigation or where there is perennial cheap irrigation people do cultivate sugar sugar is one of our agricultural produce which heavily supports our exchequer moreover because of the sugar production we are in a position to maintain the stability of prices in the country therefore my primary submission would be that we should realize that this industry should survive progress and prosper its melodies and the causes of its sickness have got to be tackled for quite a long time we have been hearing complaints from the farmers that they are not being paid sugarcane prices in time and that the sugarcane prices are becoming more and more unremunerative to them it is unfortunate that in this country whether it is profitable or not the farmer is compelled to go on growing his farming products this is his weakness he cannot think in other terms if you apply cost benefit ratio principle here you will find unlike other industries the farmer has got no choice to divert to other fields therefore this industry needs the utmost attention by the government my friend from the opposition rightly said that it is well known how the profits and capital of these sick industries have been siphoned off today we know that 600 textile mills are suffering because of its maladies and sickness we know that millions of people are out of the job similarly if you do not give specific attention to the sugar industry the fate of the farmers and workers in the sugar factories would be in jeopardy therefore my submission is that until we make the entire farming community stand on its own legs our goal of making our economy self reliant as early as possible will not be achieved therefore sir my submission is that today we export our sugar 
at a subsidized rate. People also say that sugar should be made available at cheaper rates in our country. No doubt the interest of the consumer has to be protected. The same thing is happening even with regard to milk industry, our dairy industry. The farmers and the women who are rearing animals do not get remunerative prices for milk and milk products. But we want to provide them at cheaper rate because butter should be available at the table for the morning breakfast. Ghee should be available at the dining table at cheaper rate. All these are the demands made by the vocal people. So far, we are going on yielding to the demand made by the vocal people and not by the people who are perspiring on the soil. So far, we have not paid any attention to the difficulties of the farmers. I come from a village and I know the difficulties of villagers. There is no 8-hour shift. There is no dearness allowance with a rise in the price index level. But does it mean that he should not get even the remunerative price for the products he provides? Maybe sugarcane, maybe milk, maybe food grains, maybe castor oil, maybe pulses or anything else. Now the time has come when we have to pay attention to their needs and aspirations and see that the farmer gets the remunerative price. Of course, I welcome and support this bill. But I would say it will be in the strict relevance of the situation if I impress upon the Honorable Minister and the Agriculture Department in the Government of India to pay more attention to the difficulties of our farmers. Now the time has come that even with regard to agriculture and agro-based industries, a scientific approach and thorough examination has got to be done. Otherwise, the discontent and the poverty that you want to eradicate, you would not be in a position to root out for all time to come. In the sugar industry, modernization is not there. Depreciation funds which are being collected by the industry are not used properly. Allotment of funds as already mentioned is done for the other industries but not for the sugar industry at all.